Hey, Lisa, Mimi, whatever your name is. You know who I am. Um, I have no idea who you are. Hi, Tyreek. I met you months ago. Is this is this okay? How and where is where'd you, where'd you hold on? Hold on, slow down, slow down. Because you, you coming in very accusatory. Where the hell did you meet me? Don't even worry about it. No, I'm I'm gonna worry about it. What are you talking about? You met me months ago. Come on now, that don't even sound right. Where'd you meet me? Anyways, I met you in spaces. But I'm trying to figure out. Oh, right. Well, say that. Well, say that, ma'am. Don't act like you met me in person with that husky-ass voice. I would have remembered. But go ahead. Go ahead. Have fun with it. Did you say the same thing with Beyonce with her husky-ass voice? Did you say the same thing with motherfucking what? Mary J. Block? Hold on, Gladys. Now, you watch that potty mouth, ma'am. You're not in a juke joint in Memphis. Come on now. Ma'am, you're not in the Jim Crow era no more. You got to act like a lady. This is the modern times. Uh, you're not a hoe on Bourbon Street no more. Calm down. I'm glad now, go you ahead, said ma'am. that. Calm down, Linda. You watch your tone, ma'am. Before I steal your supper eight grease well, and hide That's it. okay, Tommy. Now, what's, now what's, on, what's on your... What, ma'am, what's on your mind, Linda? What's on your mind, dear? Okay. My alter ego is Rebecca, by the way. My name is Melissa. But anyways, why are you still sitting up here supporting stupid? Now, who am I supporting stupid, ma'am? Who? Okay. Gladys. Let's have a good conversation. Why do you feel reparations is a link? It's a, a lingage or a lingage or whatever you're trying to oh, do. Oh, Come on. Oh. I don't know. Ma'am, ma'am, it's a lineage, not a lingence. Lord, where are you from? Where are you from, America, Linda? North America. Because I don't know. What not with me. Ma'am, ma you either drunk or you're a tether. Where are you from? You can't even speak the language right. Where are you from? I'm from North America. I'm from North America. And why are you still talking about reparations? Because we're supposed to get it. Are you qualified to get reparations? Well, did you look up and maybe your family came up? Ma'am, ma I asked you a question. Are you qualified? doesn't sound like you're qualified to get reparations. Well, no. Well, I'm not because my parents was already over here. So if you're still battling, you're... How, what, that, that'll make sense. Uh, what, what do you mean your parents were already over here? What does that mean? My family, they didn't give up. They kept going. Remember when Kanye West says... Ma'am, are you a Caribbean tether? I'm, I'm, I'm smelling Bammy right now. I'm I getting love, Bammy vibes. Come on, you keep cutting. Me off. Are you stay off the mute? Are entire... you, ma'am? Because ma I'm not, I'm not gonna let you tether babble. Are you a Caribbean tether, ma'am? Belinda. No. Ma'am. I'm right here. Stop calling me, ma'am. Tyree, your name. Is I know. I'm going. Go, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to respect my elders. Okay, well sorry. that's fine. Now, now, you now, probably older uh, than me, but let, it's let, okay. And ma no, ma'am, 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 you sound like a wish out my Angelo. Okay, you got some miles on you, Bertrice. But listen, are you a descendant of slaves I love from you, America? Boys. You remind me the one that uh, uh, Bertrice. Are you? Let's do it. A descendant? Come on. Are you a descendant? Are you a descendant of slaves? Let's do it, Tyrone. Let's do it. Are you a descendant of slaves in America, man? You sit in the passenger seat. You want to be a congressman, ma'am. Ma'am, are you a descendant of slaves in America? Are you? I'm a female. Okay, that's that now. means no. That, that means no, ma'am. It's if it's you're a tether, that's okay. But don't try to get on our reparations claim. How come you're not hollering you at Kara? Oh no, money. Your parents probably came over. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. So you gotta make sure you, you just do a little ma more. You, ma ma'am, you sound like you were with Abraham Lincoln when he freed the slaves. You sound like you got some miles on him. You sound like you got some miles on you, baby. You were Abraham Lincoln's mistress. All right. But go ahead, Gladys. Go ahead with your asthma having ass. Go ahead, Gladys. You talk. I ain't got no ass. I don't have no asthma. You're projecting, ma'am, because you got old diseases. Your ass got polio. You're sitting over there with some shit that they had a cure for for 50 years. Ma'am, you sitting over there with the black lung and shit. 
So Gladys, don't you even try to go there. And you still right. using curl free curl juice with your little box. I like it. And ma'am, there are no chemicals in my hair. The only chemicals are in the hysterectomy treatments that they needed to take your old, decrepit uterus out. That's the only chemicals that's used around these parts, ma'am. I have no chemicals in my hair. But you had to get them thyroids right, up out your damn uterus. Listen. Ma'am, yeah. that's your grandson, all right? Your grandson is out there twerking on peach tree because you didn't raise him right, because you crazy as cat shit and you sound like a drug addict. So you left your grandkids to the streets, all right? So that's the problem. That's why we need reparations to get your grandkids up off them damn streets, twerking for chicken wings, all right? But anything else, Bernice? I want to touch your hair, though. I just want to touch you. Ma'am, I, I want to touch yours, uh, but I'm not going to play in your church wig. I don't want to do that because I don't know what's under that church wig. You probably got all types of Jim Crow alopecia that's been around for decades. But anyway, ma'am, anything else, Gwendolyn? Ms. Gwendolyn, anything else? He knows we need to link up so we can talk about the stupid and the smart. Look, stupid man, I mean, you're a grown... I don't, I'm, not, I'm not going to link up with you, ma'am, because you might try to pull one of them old, decrepit titties out on me, and I don't know what I would do if I saw that, ma'am. I would press charges. I would okay, press charges. Okay, well, you know you're going to drown first because I got more holes in my body because if you do, do a bubble... I, I could imagine that pussy is probably OG. You got a uh, Lake Lanier pussy. Nigga go in there and they're never seen again. So I can really imagine... That old school, but JJ, you got, ma'am. I can imagine, and you probably you still have a hot... key sweat, little perm, and high top. And I would still want, ma'am. Ma I can hear a hot water bottle hanging over the shower in your house right now. It's dangling with a white cord on it. You got old feminine products. You still use dish powder, ma'am. Go on in there and take care of yourself, Gladys. And you still I, want go... the guy idea. You still want. Ma'am Gladys, go in there and get that sweet potato pie out the oven and stop bullshitting. All right, dear. Anyway, any last words, beloved? Go ahead, sweetie. You still want to talk about how your daddy didn't like you? Your well, daddy okay. didn't teach you how to. Well, my daddy, well, my granddaddy ran, left my grandma for your ass, and that broke up the family back in the day. All right, you were a Jim Crow home wrecker. All right. Anyway, thank you so much, Miss Glenda. Let me get you out of here. Sound like somebody's drunk, Granny. Okay. How are you drunk in the middle of the damn day? How are you this drunk and this damn high at 430 <laughs> in the day? Somebody's drunk ass granny. Okay. God bless her. God bless you, beloved. You're going to be all right. And uh, I know you're waiting on your check to come through. Okay. All right. Um... Anyway, let me get ready to get out of here because, you know, speaking of um, it's in the middle of the day and it's Friday. I got stuff to do. Um, should I get one more call in here? Should I get one more? Let me get one. Should I get? I get one more. Uh, hopefully it's not another Gertrude. Well, let's get Sean in here. Sean, what's up, brother? Sean. What's up, Sean? How much? Just came in to say hello. What's going on? What's on your mind, Sean? Nothing. So you just wanted to call up so your voice can be heard, right? Yeah, I was just listening to Mimi. She's a friend. Oh. So came in to say hi. Oh, okay. What's this space about? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's about me getting your ass out of here. That's what it's about. Boom. And I just did it. All right. Anyway, family, listen. Go get those new FBA flags at officialfba.com right now, ladies and gentlemen. Get the official FBA flags at officialfba.com and also get your tickets for the FBA Expo at fbaexpo.com. Y'all need to come on down and get your vending space. We got very reasonably priced vending spaces down there. All my, my business owners, showcase your businesses. <laughs> If you are an author, showcase your work. Come on down and bring your books. Ladies, if you got your own cocoa butter line, bring that down. Linda, Miss Linda, if you can, 
if you got your own German chocolate cake that you bake for your grandkids, come on down, Ms. Linda. I give you a senior citizen's discount if you come on down and I will sign you up for the FBA Expo. And um, you have your own designer life alert bracelets that you want to sell. We'll, we'll set you up with a booth, ma'am. We'll get you straight. We got some great, great deals for the elderly. Um, but yeah, go to FBAExpo.com, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of great stuff we got going on. Y'all, anyway, man, I think it's been real. I think we've been constructive. I think we had a constructive conversation today. Um, other than that, you guys have a great afternoon. Peace.